Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this episode of Tech Stuff. Now, today we have something special. It's not exactly very technological, but in a way it is. Um, it has a lot to do with the way we drink beer. Now, I have with me the Physics Draft Paw. I did a review with Matt's a couple of months ago actually, uh, but I thought I would do one specially for my channel. And because I have a limited edition one here today, uh, this was really special, just ordered it in and it is a great gift for anyone this Christmas. I actually bought this for my dad, so I hope he doesn't watch this before I give it to him. But anyway, it makes a great gift for anyone who loves beer, um, like these nitro style beers. It actually works with any type of beer, so it's a great option. So without further ado, let's get into unboxing this. Now, um, it is quite big, um, but that being said, it is meant to fit any size of bottled beer and also for the size of your cups. So here we go. Now, um, it's not very pretty packaging, but um, it's what's inside that matters, right? All right, so, oops. All right, so we got a couple of um, paperwork here. So firstly, we have a user's guide. I uh, don't need that. It's a very simple machine to use. And of course, we have this big banner over here. Now, inside this banner um, is a couple of instructions of how to use this and it's pretty simple and I'll bring you guys through it but let's just see what we get uh, inside here so there we go of course we have the main physics draft paw this is one of the uh, latest models um, they came up with a few other models before this this is the latest one and I have it in this very nice copper wow look at that look at that so they have four different colors the carbon, the ice, uh, one called pup, and this is the copper limited edition one. So very sleek, very nice. I absolutely love it. Now, what else we get inside is just another packaging like this. Um, inside we have the beer tap itself that goes on the top. Um, like I said, it's not much of an assembly video. Um, any idiot knows how to use this tap, but I'll just show you guys um, how this special tap works because there's two ways you can use it um, in just a minute. So it comes with a USB cable as well so this can be powered by a USB if you're near a USB power but if you want you can also power it via a battery so this makes it very portable you can bring it to your friend's house enjoy some draft pours um, and it really elevates the taste of your beer and I know this isn't a first impression or anything because I've actually tried this out during my first review of this, but um, I thought I would show you guys again a more in-depth thing. All right, so there we go. Now, I'm just gonna peel off all this um, plastic. Ooh. All right, there we go. So a very nice sleek matte finish here. This part here is plastic, all around plastic, and then we have the copper base. Now let's start from the top. You have the lever itself, which goes two ways. Um, I'll explain that in a bit. Of course, you have the removable top. This is where your beer bottle goes in. Yeah, there's a metal straw inside there, so this goes inside the bottle. And of course, there's this rubber gasket here, which is very important. And I'll explain that in a bit when I explain to you how this whole thing works. And of course, we have the main base, which is just filled with this copper finish, so beautiful. And of course, a rubber um, kind of tray here for you to clean up um, any spills. Now, let's get some batteries in this and start this up. Why didn't I prepare the batteries? All right, we're back. So you got um, two AA batteries, not included. So you got to get your own ready. There we go. And just pop back on the cap. The magnetic? Yeah, it's magnetic. All right, so how this works, basically, it firstly works as a tap to dispense your beer and the rubber gasket is important because the mechanics inside here actually build up pressure allowing it to suck up the beer through the straw and out through the spout. So that's why the gasket is actually very important. It keeps the whole compartment airtight. So don't damage that. Now the other direction of the lever is when it fizzes the beer. So physics actually uses this micro sound wave technology that they've invented to kind of um, create these micro bubbles in the beer, also enhancing the taste. Now, I'm no beer scientist or anything, but as a layman or as somebody who just drinks beer casually, you can taste the difference and 
it's just unexplainable. <laughs> like you can go to their website, you can see the many reviews that they have. They've been on Shark Tank, that's where they first got started out and they let the judges both try the beer that was just poured out of a can and one that came out of the physics and the difference was very obvious. So without further ado, um, I have a couple of bottles of beer here, starting with the biggest. Okay, maybe we won't start off with the biggest, but uh, I just want to show you guys that it fits any size. We got a couple of cans here as well. None of these brands are sponsored. <laughs> these are just some of my favorite brands. And of course, the smaller beers over here. So all of these are able to fit into this tower here, and that's the great thing about it. So, one more thing. Physics Singapore actually has these new crystal cups, which Technically, aren't glass, it's a bit plastic. One second. So a big thank you to Physics Singapore. Again, uh, they gave me four of these cups, but um, during the promotion, it was just two cups. So very thankful for them for giving me these cups. So we have one design that's just a plain cup, uh, silver and, and this kind of shape. It, it, it's, it's kind of like a rubber plastic kind of thing. So if you drop it, it's not an issue, you know, when you drink too much. And we have the other one, which is a really nice spiral pattern. I actually really like this one. Yeah, so I have two of these uh, and two of these glasses and we're gonna use them to pour uh, the beer today. All right, so let's just start out with the smallest can. We have a Carlsberg here. Uh, this is a Pilsner. Um, and just right out of the can, I just wanna show you guys what a regular pour looks like. Now, usually you would pour it at a 45 degree, you know, if it's a bottle, and then try to get some kind of hit at the top, you know, but you know, that, that doesn't really get anything out of it. All right, this was a slight mistake. I kind of poured almost all of the beer out. Let me see if I can pour it back in. All right, I'm probably fizzing a lot of the beer out, but no worries, I have confidence in the physics. Ah, oh, shit. All right, we knew this was gonna get messy, but anyway. Oh, crap. All right, so we're gonna twist the physics, get it out, and we're gonna put the straw into the can, um, if I can find it. Yep, there we go. Get it down in place, and twist it shut. Now that it's all secured in place, we can begin our pour. So I'm gonna put it forward to dispense the beer. You can hear that sound, that's the motor pushing it up. All right. All right, so with that pouring, we already have somewhat of a hit for this, but I just want to show you that you can add even more. Imagine if your beer is flat. Um, I didn't just fizz it out like just now. You push it back and only foam comes out. Check that out. All right, this is a bit exaggerated. I don't think anybody would drink um, beer with this ratio of a hit, but check that out. Wow, oh my gosh. All right, this is very tempting, but I got a couple of beers to go through. So I just want to show you guys that it fits all the different size cans and bottles. So we have the shortest one, no surprise there. The important thing is that the straw is able to reach the bottom of the can. And I'll show you guys that in a bit. I'll drain out one of these bottles to show you. Now we have um, a Rattler, Lemon Rattler from Tiger. All right, let's try that out. All right, same thing. Uh, putting the straw through the mouth of the can and then closing it tight. I actually might have a glass of this one. I really like Rattlers. All right, so pushing it down again, you just get the beer out. All right, as you can see, um, it's kind of flat, you know, you don't get, you don't get much of a hit. Um, let me just fill it up a bit more before we top it off. All right. So now that you've gotten the level of beer that you want, you can just pull it back slightly and only foam comes out, giving you that perfect head. Check that out. My gosh, like having this at home really elevates your drinking experience and you know, you don't have to go out to bars or anything noisy like that and spend and pay like, I don't know, twice, three times the price for simple beers coming out of a tap. You can have this at home in the comfort of your house, uh, invite your friends over, and just enjoy something so simple as sound waves creating these micro foam bubbles inside. All right, I did say I would get a sip of this. Ah. My gosh, the difference. Ah. It really tastes like it just came out of a tap at a bar. 
and I'm not lying about this. You guys know my reviews, I don't lie about this shit. But yes, one of the best inventions that I've had the pleasure of using. All right, let's get on to the bottles. All right, so we got a simple Heineken bottle over here. Um, and this is the one that I want to show you that the straw is able to drain out everything in this bottle. Let me just get a clean glass, taking out the old can. And, ah, I don't have a bottle opener. Now this is something maybe they could have included inside here. It would be cool if there was like a bottle opener just at the back here. But I guess I have to find my own bottle opener. Ah, all right. All right. So this is the first test you'll see using a bottle. Uh, so the same thing works. You put the straw through the mouth of the bottle, goes all the way neatly in and you secure it. So here we go. Um, everything works the same way. Push forward to get the beer out. Wow, this one is super flat. Look at that. Look at how flat this beer is. You're not gonna present this to your buddies. This is a disgrace. Now, here's the magic once again. Ooh, right there, okay. <laughs> this is really too much, but you get the point. It takes a bit of practice to know exactly how much uh, I'm going a bit crazy with this. Um, but yes, I need to drain out this whole bottle, so let me just empty a couple of these beers. So I'm not gonna do the foam thing anymore. I just wanna get all the beer out of this bottle. All right, that's when you know that it's come to the end. It's sort of like this suction that, like when there's nothing left to suck out, it will just suck out air and have that <laughs> effect. Like nothing, nothing else will come out. You look, look at that. So that's when you know you've hit the bottom of the beer bottle. So I'm just gonna take it out. I'm, so as you can see, all right, you might have a couple of sips left um, and you can just simply just pour it out, you know? So the great thing is that it fits most bottles. Now we're gonna put it to the test with the largest one. This is a 650 milliliter bottle of Carlsberg. All right, here we go. I've never actually tested this, so this will be a first. All right, so off the top, get it into the straw. Ah, yes, it fits so perfectly. I think of all the things that you can buy for your home, especially for a bachelor pad or something, a great gift for anyone who loves craft beer, drinking beer. I think this is a very simple piece of technology that has been packed so neatly into a designer piece like this. I mean, look at that copper. It's, it's so beautifully done, so elegant. And the joy you get out of it, the difference in the taste, simply incredible. Um, I'm not being sponsored by Physics at all. They gave me a slight discount to make this video, but in all honesty, I approached them because I really love their product. So if you guys have any questions, do leave in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. But if not, you can head down to their website. Um, they have different stores. I bought this from the Singapore store online. Um, you can go over to the Physics main page and website to find out more about this device. Yes, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. I'm going to finish up all these beers and I'll catch you guys in the next one.